this is Dr. Wall with Insights for MCTV. The next time you hear somebody complain about the weather, remind them how lucky they are to be on this planet. One of the reasons life is so hard to find in the solar system is that the weather of other planets makes it difficult to keep body and soul together. For example, American weather stations have been in place on Mars since the 1970s. The weather there makes our worst day seem like a balmy day in Florida. How'd you like a daily high temperature of 20 below Fahrenheit with a low of 100 below? What's more, Mars has dust storms so large they cover the entire planet, pole to pole, and all the way around for days at a time. Freezing cold dust storms, now that's Mars for you. Venus has a surface temperature of 800 degrees Fahrenheit and a corrosive acid rain that would fry the smile off a politician. When the greenhouse effect ran away a billion years ago, the oceans on Venus boiled away. Ever since, the weather on Venus has made life impossible. The diameter of Earth is 8,000 miles, but that of Jupiter is 88,000 miles. On that planet, one of its storms could swallow the entire Earth many times over. The Great Red Spot, for example, is a huge hurricane that's been going on continuously for 300 years. Like most planets, both Jupiter and Earth rotate on an axis. The Earth's axis is tilted with respect to the Sun. Since this causes the sun to rise above the horizon more in summer than in winter, Earth has what we call seasons. The axis of Jupiter is not tilted, so therefore there are no seasons. Its weather is smeared evenly around the planet in bands. That means if you got bad weather on one day, you got it forever. There's no such thing as good weather on Jupiter. Although 10 times Earth's diameter, Jupiter rotates in 10 hours rather than hour 24. This high rotation rate squashes the whole planet down to a shape like a tangerine. Our jet streams might reach 100 knots or so. Jupiter's have been clocked at 250 knots continuously for months. So the next time you hear someone complain about the weather, remind them that we've got it pretty good here on Earth. If we had to deal with the weather of other planets, we'd all be out of business in short order. That's Dr. Walt with Insights for MCTV.